Hey everybody, I'm gonna be showing y'all my go-to everyday hairstyle. The haircut I have now is very popular. Stars like Julianne Huff and Taylor Swift all have some variation of the haircut that I have. There are a ton of different ways that you can style it. I'm gonna be showing you how to do it with a flat iron. I already washed my hair and pretty much just power dried it. I always use a heat protectant in my hair before I put any sort of heat on it. That's all I have. I use the Kerastase Nectar Thermique. It makes my hair feel super soft and protects it from blow drying, flat ironing, wanding. I usually put another thing on before I flat iron, but since I just blow dried and put it in my hair, I'm not gonna put more product in my hair. And I'm going to get started. We're gonna start at the bottom. I'm gonna split this bottom section, it's about an inch wide, like an inch from here to here, into two. I am just going to straighten this completely straight. I'm not even going to curl it. If your hair is longer, like say maybe from here, anywhere from like here to here, I would probably go ahead and curl it I'll show you how that's done whenever I get closer to the top. Since my hair is cut to here, I don't like to curl it. Um, but you can judge that based on the length of your hair. Okay, now that I've straightened about half of my hair, this is when I start to curl. The thinner your hair is, you probably could start curling after that first straight section, and then I would still straighten this little piece by your ear. The more that is flat ironed, the less volume you're gonna get. So, I have really thick hair, so that is why I flat iron half and I curl half. You'll see whenever I'm finished what that looks like. I know it sounds kind of stupid, but this is just how I've learned to style my hair. I've had this haircut for about a year, and it did take a lot of trial and error, but over time, it's gotten super, super easy. always curl away from my face. So since my hair has some curl in it, I take the straightener and go over it a few times at the root, and then I start to twist. I also do flip it with my finger after. I'll show you what it looks like if you don't do that. I don't know why it looks better when you do this versus when you don't. What is this? Okay, so I'm flat ironing the root. That's what it looks like if you don't do that. And usually the ones that I don't do that to have to go over.
Okay, so now as I get closer to my part, I'm gonna go ahead and try and find it. Okay, it's closer to there. And I'm going to take long rectangular sections and keep doing what I've been doing. goal is to create like a slight bend in the middle and to keep your ends straight for the most part. There will be times that you will have to go over certain sections. It happens to the best. is being stubborn. You can go ahead and wrap it around. We're going to twist this almost in a full circle. Let it cool. Okay, so here is the finished product. I really like wearing my hair like this. It looks even better second and third day. Once you've slept on it and you get a little natural oil and product in it, it really looks very like beachy and undone. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe.